Hello, everybody. We're going to take a look at um, WAMAP 5.4a, which is Introduction to Polynomials. And in this case, we'll be adding polynomials. So uh, as you know, uh, polynomials are these terms that are, are put together and um, they're all different. We have to know how to combine them. So uh, we're going to talk about combining like terms and um, also what constitutes a like term when you have a polynomial. We're going to take a look at this problem um, on the whiteboard uh, right here. And so um, we've got 5x squared plus x minus 9 plus 6x squared plus 3x plus 1. So first thing we're going to do is define what like terms, what that means. What's a like term? So a like term is anything that has the same unit. So here we have x squared. And over here we also have x squared. So these are like terms and they can be combined. Um, we have an x term here. And here's another x term. This one is 3x and this is just 1x or x. And then we have uh, numerals and numerals can be combined. Um, uh, so uh, that's where we're going to start. And uh, this is all addition and subtraction, so we don't really need to consider the parentheses. What we'll do instead is put a sign on every number. And um, just so we know what sign we're dealing with, we're going to look at this as positive 5x squared, and this is positive 6x squared. Well, let's change colors once. Um, then we have a positive x and a positive 3x. And then the last group, we've got negative 9 and positive 1. So we're going to add these color groups together. And um, that will be how we add this polynomial. So we have 5 of this unit and 6 of the same unit. How much does that give us? 5 and 6 is 11. And what was our unit? The units were x squared. So 11x squared, you've got 11 of those. And you can kind of think of these units as like dollars versus cents like if you have three dollars and ten cents and four dollars and five cents and you add those together you're going to add up the dollars together and add up the cents together and you keep those uh, together by their units and we do the same thing with this uh, except you can have a wider variety of units than just dollars and cents okay so the first one five positive five x squared plus positive six x squared gave us eleven x squared and the next term is the x term. We have x, positive x, and positive 3x. So 3x plus x will give us positive 4x. And then the last one, we have negative 9 and positive 1. And when we combine those, um, if you've used my um, dealing with negativity sheet, then you know that when the signs of two numbers combined are different, you take the difference between those two numbers and you keep the sign of the number with the larger absolute value. So we're going to take the difference between 9 and 1, which is 8. And the larger number with the larger absolute value is 9. So that negative sign is going to survive here. And our answer becomes 11x squared plus 4x minus 8. So this is the number we had put in the box at WAMAP. And um, go ahead and give that a try and see how that works. And if you're handing in, uh, when you hand in your work, if it looks a little bit like this sheet, that'll be great. I just need to know that you know how to combine like terms. And um, this is adding polynomials. It'll get a little more interesting next where we um, do some subtraction. 